Hello everyone, Tony, did you know that the first mm -hmm. Mars mission will be launched in the mid 2030s? Thankfully, you and I live in an imaginary world and we can go to Mars right now. Today we're going to check the problems that the future colonizers of Mars will have to face. Let's go! And here we are, some good news first. There are more than 5 million cubic kilometers of ice at the poles of the red planet. If we were to melt it, it would be enough to cover the whole surface of Mars. But we are not going to do that. We're going to need this water for something else. The thing is that Mars's atmosphere is very thin and is made mostly of carbon dioxide. But we can use electricity to break up water into hydrogen and oxygen, which we really need for our new airtight Martian house. Now let's talk food. Sending cows, pigs, or other animals to Mars is not easy. Therefore, we're going to have to go vegan for a while. But there is a problem. Plants need sunlight, and Mars is 1.5 times further from the sun than the Earth, and so it receives less solar light. But thanks to a simulated Mars analog research station in Canada, we now know that the light will be enough to grow different plants, such as tomatoes and carrots. But there's another problem with our little garden. The excess of oxygen, it's a fire hazard so we need to dilute the air with a neutral gas. On Earth, this is naturally done by nitrogen, but this element is almost non-existent on Mars. So, bringing nitrogen from Earth will make flying to the red planet even more expensive. Moreover, machinery fails with time, so we are gonna need a ton of replacement parts to keep everything in our colony working. Don't forget that Mars and the Earth orbit around the Sun and sometimes find themselves very far away from each other. But once every 26 months, they come relatively close to each other, with only 55 million kilometers between them. And there are other problems. Gravity is weaker on Mars than on Earth. At first, our astronauts would feel like supermen, flying around and doing heavy lifting. But over time, our bones and muscles will grow weaker because of the lack of gravity. And another problem is cosmic radiation. Earth's magnetic field stops 99% of the harmful radiation, but there's no such field on Mars. Theoretically, all these problems can be solved, and scientists have more than 10 years to find the right answers. Hopefully, they will manage to solve everything and send Earth's first mission to Mars successfully. The future is here, dear friends. We are going to witness humanity conquering the space. But for now, we have to wait. So tell us what you think about Mars missions and the problems they could encounter there. The best comments will be featured in the next video. See you soon in a new episode of Super Tony. Don't worry, we'll be back on Earth by then. Bye-bye!